Hey guys, this is Sam, and it's hard to believe that we are already on iOS 10.3.3 Beta 6. I think the very first version of iOS 10.3.3 was released back on May 16th, so nearly two months in beta, and we have seen no changes. This has to set some sort of a record for the longest time we've seen a beta with no actual changes coming. Now, we did see those cool wallpapers. I was a big fan, many of you liked them as well, but besides that, we have not seen anything new. So let's go ahead and check iOS 10.3.3 beta 6 to see if anything changed this time around. So if you take a look at the screenshot that I took before updating my iPhone 7, you'll notice that the version size is really big. It was about 1.85 gigabytes, which is much bigger than the 20 or 30 megabyte updates that we've been seeing with beta 3 and 4 and 5. So this leads me to believe that this could possibly be the last beta version of iOS 10.3.3 that we see before it hits the public for everyone. Now that being said, Apple could pull a Steve Jobs on us and give us one more thing with a future beta, but I don't really see that happening. I mean, of course it's possible it's happened with other betas in the past, but it's very unlikely just because from my time using iOS 10.3.3, it has been the most amazing version of iOS 10 that I've touched. It's super smooth, really fast, and it just works. Now, of course, I'm testing it on one of the latest devices, the iPhone 7, so that's expected, but it just feels really good. Apple's done a great job with the iOS 10 releases, making sure that everything is really stable, everything is really quick, and I really appreciate that because even though we're not seeing new features, it's not like as new updates keep coming out for iOS 10 that it's getting slower, or more bogged down, or there's lag. At least on my device, it's been really great. I think Apple's killed the game with the releases this year. So if iOS 10.3.3 Beta 6 is the last beta version. I think we could see it launch within one to two weeks. So at the very earliest, July 10th, maybe July 11th, or July 17th, or the 18th. Now there's a chance that it could come out on the Wednesdays, Thursdays, or Fridays of both of those weeks. But generally speaking, Apple really likes to release new versions of iOS on Mondays and Tuesdays. So between the 10th and the 11th, or the 17th and the 18th, are the most likely dates that I think we will see iOS 10.3.3. But of course, things can change. None of those dates are confirmed, and I guess this is just wishful thinking. If you're interested in downloading those new wallpapers that I referenced earlier in the video, I'll have a link down below in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to hit like while you're down there as well, and it would really help me out. For more iOS news in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new updates. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you later.